welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I do all things embroidery. I'm working on the candies and cookie wreath and in this tutorial I will be making the cute little lollipops and I will be tackling all three candy canes. Luckily from the picture the candy canes look fairly similar. I will show the differences because there are three different kinds and looks like some of them have a little bit different uh, stitching. So I'll show you those as I go along and let's get started. We are starting with the lollipop sticks and this requires a Chanel stick and not stuffing. And we're going to fold this piece in half and applique the piece together on the fold. And I just used another pin to keep it in place so I don't have to constantly keep holding it. Grab one strand of gold thread and we're gonna applique these together. I like to try and hide my knots so you don't see them. I'm gonna applique it about half, maybe a little less than halfway. And then I'll put the Chanel stick in there and then do the rest of it. Okay, I'll get to this point and then I'll take the pin out. Some of the pieces like this tend to be harder to hold on to, especially if you've got bigger hands like myself. If you have smaller fingers, you might have an easier time. Otherwise, I just use the pin to help so we're about, I'd say about a quarter of the way. And close to halfway I stop and grab the Chanel stick and just stick it in there. I've learned that if I almost complete the applique stitch before putting the Chanel stick in, it's, it's a little harder to put in the stick. So I'm just going to get it to where I want it. And then grab my non-fabric scissors and trim it to the correct size, and then I'll close it up. Here I'm just cutting out the top of the lollipop, and I'm making sure I'm cutting away the stamp. If you end up accidentally missing a section, or you still have extra stamp on there, just grab the tip of your needle and just rub it gently. You could also take a pair of um, really fine scissors, to do that too, and just lightly trim it. Here we ha we're have uh, two strands of red thread and we're doing the outline stitch all the way around, creating this really cute lollipop effect. And in the very middle, we're gonna be putting a red sequin and a red bead. So I'll show you that next. Here is the completed top and we're using, well usually when I bead I use two strands of whatever color I need, in this case we're using red and we're only have, we only have one sequin and one bead to put on. And I go through the bead once and the sequin twice, so I'll just show you, there we go. And because there's only one of these on here, I'm going to double, double it on the back, double knot it. And I usually hide my tail out of habit. You don't have to do that. You can just leave the tail there since we're going to be stuffing this piece. And you won't ever see it. There's my double knot. There we go. And then there's me hiding my tail. And then I'll trim it off and attach this to the stick. I went ahead and attached this front piece to the stick. There's the view from the back. Sorry, my camera is not, there we go, focusing. And now we're gonna put the backing onto the lollipop and we're gonna stuff the lollipop to give it a nice dimensional look to it. I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, here is the completed lollipop. One out of two, we're making two of these. And it's very lightly stuffed, and it came out just cute. 
And the second lollipop is a different color. So you've got a red and a green. And now we're going to put these two together with cording as well as applique stitch. I have a separate video that I will link above in the cards to make cording if you want to check that out and learn how to make cording. I'm going to show you how to connect these two together. We're just going to tie these two together. And this is according to the picture in the kit that it comes with. You're just kind of eyeballing it. For this particular cording, you need six inches of cording. So that means you need to cut 12 to 13 inches of thread. And I believe we're using two strands. So it'll be four total because it doubles on itself. And there's what we have so far. I had to fix the bow off camera because it wasn't quite how I wanted it, but it looks great now. And now we're going to attach the top of the lollipops together. And then we'll be done with the lollipops. Okay, so I grabbed a pin, and you see I pinned these two together, kind of loosely, and I'm using one strand of white to attach these two lollipop tops together, and I am doing a very, I don't know, I mean, you could, it could be an applique stitch, it could be kind of a tack down stitch, because my stitches are like really far apart. Normally for an applique stitch, it, the, the stitches are rather close together, but this is more of like a tack down. So you don't need as many stitches when you're trying to attach things together, especially if you won't even see the stitch. So, okay, getting to where I need to tie it off. And I tie it off in the back because you won't be able to see it. So I'll just tie this off and then we'll be done with these lollipops. They turned out so cute. Yeah, hiding my tail. All right, taking out the pins, and that's what it looks like. Moving on to the candy canes. I'm going to show you how to put one candy cane together because it's basically the same thing. We're, we're doing all three candy canes the exact same way. We're just changing up a couple of colors, and that's just about it. So we're going to just put these stripes on. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the kit actually called for a light green thread. I ended up running out of light green. And um, I had plenty of regular green. So I decided to use the regular green. And I liked how it turned out. So a little modification for you. And then for the red stripes, I decided to do the beads and sequins first to put the two felt pieces together. And then after I did that with every single stripe, I went back and did an applique stitch on the stripes themselves. That way I don't have to, you know, prick myself with pins or maneuver around pins. And they're already there. They just need to be applique on. Super easy to do that. Here's what we have so far on our candy cane. And the only one that doesn't have sequins and beads on it is the very middle because that's where the bow is going. So I'm just showing you after I'm done beading all of the red stripes, I am going back and appliquing them onto the candy cane. So I'm just going to show you a few beginning stitches while trying to hide this knot that doesn't want to hide. <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to skip ahead and show you how to stuff these. So I started from the bottom and I went about an inch, maybe two from the bottom. And now I'm going to grab some stuffing, some polyester fiber fill. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Amazon. All my affiliate links are in the description box below for every material that I use. And I do get a small commission for those. Just if you want to um, support my channel, it's a great way to do that. Grant, uh, using my handy handy chopstick to um, assist <laughs> with the stuffing. And I use my fingers to kind of gauge um, how much stuffing goes in here because I don't want to overstuff. It's really easy to overstuff a candy cane because I want it to look like a candy cane and it does. It looks like a candy cane. I want to eat this, but I won't eat it because <laughs> it won't taste good. So 
I'm going to show you how to put the bow together. And the bows are a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit of practice. You have to fold it and then fold it and then tie it around, up and over. And, okay, just note, note to you guys, whoever, if you guys are making this kit, it does not tell you that there are sequins on these bows. I didn't know there were sequins on these bows until I saw the um, symbols on the side. Like, they're not in the middle for some reason. So the only reason that they're in the spot they're in right now, in the middle, is because that's what it is on the picture. So, yeah. Not exactly the best instruction. I kind of had to figure it out on my own. But they turned out super cute, so that's all that matters, right? <laughs> if you guys are doing this kit, let me know if you have the same issue with the bows, because in my kit, it doesn't show me where the sequins and beads go. It just shows me the color, and that's about it. So, yeah, leave a comment down below if you have a, a similar issue with that. But, yeah, I just grabbed the remaining thread from my beads and sequins and just attached it. Attached the bow to the candy cane. And here are the rest of the candy canes. Notice how there's two greens and one red. Actually, it's more like a pink. Two greens and a pink. And the pink one has a red bow. One green one has pink bow. The other green one has a red bow. So they're a little bit different. Same stitches, just different colors. And that's what they look like. Super cute. All right, here are the rest all together. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that you liked it and it will share it with the world. <laughs> also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red button and the bell notification so you get notified when I upload brand new videos. My next video will be my last video in the series. I will be putting the candy ribbons together and the wreath. So check that out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.